afternoon or good evening guys uh, here's a new video I'm trying it a new way just until this lockdown finishes I'm gonna do a ham and peace pudding broth or ham and vegetable broth with uh, split peas um, there's the ham and I've got about eight or nine bacon bones in the slow cooker I started it off in the slow cooker it eventually came to the boil as you can see in the slow cooker I've also got a gammon joint in there with uh, the leek trimmings a bit of carrot some bay leaves some pepper um, and that's going to cook and make a lovely stock all these vegetables I just basically peeled <coughs> gave them a wash peeled them and then I chopped them up so they're all about the same size and um, the leeks I just shredded down but make sure you give the leeks a good wash because they do get very gritty and um, and then that was it so we're, we're ready notice I've got this the yellow split peas in a bowl of water that water was boiling when I put them in and um, that's just to start them soaking so they'll be easier to cook and they'll cook at the same time as everything else the butternut squash I cut um, just so that the solid bit at the top I've cut up into dice and the bottom bit like you can see on the picture I've just de-seeded it and then I've cut it up and I've left the skin on I then put it into a baking tray with some a bit of olive oil some butter salt and pepper put it in a red hot oven that because the oven was on anyway to to finish off the gammon which you'll see in a minute once the gammon was boiled it was in slow cooker for an hour and a half it was boiled for a little while in there simmered and then put it into a big pan and then boiled it down again and um, you're looking about two two and a half hours to get it cooked to get all the flavor out of it and then took it out of the water slash stock and I put it into a well tin foil baking tray with the bacon ribs that were in to create the stock and then I put it in the oven with a little bit of honey sprinkle over it the gammon and the bacon joint uh, bacon bones were in the oven for I would say no more than half an hour it's literally just give them a bit of color and um, I then took it out let them cool down a little bit then I took the bacon bones and I stripped all the meat off it diced the meat up and that was the meat that we're going to use for the broth right this is a gammon joint that we uh, took out the stock with the bacon ribs they went in the it went in the oven with a little bit of honey on it on a well tin foil tray um, we're not using it for the broth we're going to use the bacon rib meat for the broth so I've diced up half of it I've sliced up half of it so we've got quiche Lorraine coming out of this gammon joint but we've got the flavor in the stock from it and we've also got some sliced ham for croque monsieur uh, either this evening or tomorrow now we've got the, that, that lovely stock that we've got off the bacon bones and the gammon joint uh, I'm going to put the yellow split peas in that have been soaking in that boiling water for an hour and then I'm putting the red lentils in all at the same time and then all the lovely diced vegetables full of flavor that we've diced up and spent lots of time getting them all the same size doesn't have to be perfect come on we're not we're not Michelin star here um, get that in let that simmer for about 15 minutes and then put your bacon bits in that you've cooked and then final adjustment of seasoning I found with the salt we didn't need any more salt so I just put some more black pepper in simmer it away for another 10 minutes I cut the roasted butternut squash up into nice bite-sized pieces and then put it in the bottom of your dish put your broth on it and it's gorgeous hope you enjoyed this this is a new effort I'm uh, trying not to do video all the time so this is a storyboard recipe um, at the end of this please enjoy comment let me know what you think cheers wow 
whilst you're getting all your stuff ready to go, uh, cut up and get ready, here's the raccoons playing Planet Caravan featuring Roy. Right. 